Okay, so how is everyone today? Good, I hope. So any questions before we get to business? Okay, so the last thing that we did last time was uh, the formula for the product of binomials. And this, uh, like anything that gets used a lot, it has uh, more than one name. So on the one hand, its name is product of binomials, and on the other hand, what does everyone actually call it? Foil, right? F-O-I-L. Okay. So specifically, it's a neat little formula to uh, write down uh, the following. So A plus B, and then that multiplied by C plus D. <clears throat> okay, so we went over how to get the formula last time, so I won't repeat that, but I will repeat the formula. It's the sum of four terms. What's the name of the first term? Firsts, right? The F term. Uh, and what are its factors? AC. AC, uh, and this one is called the F term because these are the ones that appear first. So in the first binomial, A is first. And in the second binomial, C is first. So this one is referred to as the F term. <coughs> What's the next term? It is AD. Uh, AD. Those are its factors. And then what's its name? Outside, right? That's, that starts with letter O. So outside. They're called outside because those individual factors are, well, there's A. and uh, D. <clears throat> Outside. And then what's the next term? Inside. Inside. Uh, and what are its factors? Look, there's a, there's a missing an E there. Uh, B, C, yes. <clears throat> So there's B. And C. First outside, inside. The final term? Lasts. Uh, and its factors? B and D. Beautiful. Any question about the formula? So they're referred to as F, O, I, and L. Fine. Let's use it. <coughs> Should I turn? No, I did turn it off. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, so for example, uh, 3x plus 5, and then this multiplied by, uh, how about 6x plus 7. So since this is the 
first time I'm doing it, I'm going to do it sort of in a long-winded way. But this is not really the way I expect you to uh, show your work. So, uh, well, for the F term, that means I need to use the firsts. So it would be 3 times x multiplied by 6 times x. That's the F term. Uh, then the O term would be 3 times x multiplied by what? 7. And then the I term would be 5 multiplied by 6 times x. And then the L term would be 5 multiplied by 7 the sum of four terms, F, O, I, and L. Is there any question how the formula applied to this situation? From here, it's just a matter of some rel relatively straightforward uh, algebra. So what does this one become? 18x squared. Okay, the next one, 21x, height. Next, 30x. Next, 35. So, uh, is the answer written in standard form? No, in what manner is it not in standard form? Like terms aren't collected. So let's do that. Uh, 18x squared. Well, uh, let me let me back up. Uh, please remind me, what does it mean for terms to be alike? Right. Same variable, same degree. So uh, there's only one term that has degree 2, so there's nothing it's like. Here's two terms that have degree 1, so they're alike. They can be collected. And then here's a term of degree what? Zero. So, and it's the only one of degree zero, so there's nothing to collect it with. Okay, fine. So, uh, this would be 51 x's and then plus 35. Any question about the first example? Okay, so when you are um, accustomed to doing this, I'll expect you to, you, uh, by all means, you are permitted to write this. It's always permissible to show more work. But uh, what I'm saying is that by the time you're comfortable with this, I sort of expect you all to start with this one. Okay, this is the one I want you to start with. So let's do an example where, where we do that. So for, for example, and I'll title this, show your work like this. Uh, so, for example, 4w uh, plus 6 multiplied by 13w plus 14. Again, the product of binomials. So, again, we can use FOIL. By all means, do it like this. Uh, but on this example, I'm going to multiply the F term out in my head. So doing that in, in, your, in, in your head, what is the F term? 52 W squared. That's the F term. The O term? Uh, 56, right? Because that'd be 40 and 16. 56w, the i term, 78w, and the l term, 84. Okay, and then is this simplified? Not yet, we need to collect. So, <coughs> uh, 
52 w squared. The middle terms are alike, so that'd be what? 120 and then another 14, 134. 134 w's and then 84 units. Good. Any question about this? <clears throat> Okay, how about uh, 2 times y plus 5 and then multiplied by uh, 3 times y minus 4. So when I'm, when I'm doing sequences of examples, my teaching strategy is uh, that I only want to introduce one new topic per example. And the one new thing in this one is that now this is a subtraction. Okay, and then the, the question is, is how, how will the fact that, that this is a subtraction uh, m make itself known as, as we answer, make our answer? So this is again gonna be the sum of four terms, F, O, I, and L. <clears throat> What's the F term? Good. Six times y squared. The O term? Ah. Subtract 8y instead of add 8y. Okay, that's where it comes in. So subtract 8y. Okay. It sounds like a, a jet, but that's actually someone rolling a cart on the floor above us with wheels. Uh, so the I term? 15. 15Y. And the L term? Minus 20. Minus 20. Okay, then we need to collect. So that would be 6 times Y squared. And then how much? 7Y. Plus 7Y. And then minus 20. Any question about the use of foil? Okay, next page. So here's uh, some formulas that you need to commit to memory. The first one, we're gonna take A plus B and we're gonna square it. So I'm gonna write equal to, and then I'm gonna leave myself a blank here where I'm gonna write the formula in a moment. Okay, does anyone have any guesses? Yeah? Okay, so that's, this is the right answer. Uh, but I'll, my experience tells me that a large fraction of you um, would, would make your first guess the following wrong answer. So I'm gonna write something down that's wrong. Uh, so carefully, if you're writing stuff down, carefully write down that I'm writing something that's incorrect. So first guess. Many students uh, wanna put forth this guess. A squared plus B squared. A squared plus B squared. Okay, this is wrong. So in the first place, I want you to know that it's wrong, but in the second place, I'd like for you to know why it is wrong. Because I think if you know why it's wrong, uh, it'll help you um, avoid making this error and errors like it in the future. So. Uh, you know, I'm not uh, in your head, only, only you are, uh, but I've talked to lots of students and it is, uh, my, my impression is that, is that the, 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 the error goes in the following kind of way. So this is something that is true. We can do this, is that we can do A plus B multiply Two. We can do that. A plus B multiply two. And uh, what, what's the name for the, for the rule that we have for it? 
distribution. Right? We can take this two and say, you get a two, and you get a two. Right? And because uh, it's a distribution, uh, this is the distribution distribution of product over sum, we have that. We have something that does that. Uh, and we get a multiplied by 2 plus b multiplied by 2. So that's something we can do. Another something we can do. Uh, is we can make we can consider a formula that looks like this a multiplied by b squared we can do that one so now um, this this symbol that's not a letter or a number the plus symbol I'm going to refer to that as the punctuation right so so normally under normal circumstances when when you're writing a product, uh, usually you don't write the punctuation, you don't write the dot. But I hold myself in college algebra to always write the dot. Uh, but uh, it's such a strong momentum currently, I don't write the punctuation for exponent. But what is the punctuation for exponent? Caret, Caret right? But if you're going to talk to your calculator, you're going to have to use the punctuation. Uh, so with punctuation, this is a product b in parentheses caret 2. Do we have a distribution for this one? We do, right? You get a 2, and you get a 2. So we can do that. Uh, this is the distribution. of caret over product. That's something we can do. OK, so then when you do that, it looks like this. A caret 2 multiply b caret 2. And then, of course, normally you don't write the caret. You just write it this way. a squared multiply b squared. Beautiful. So we have a distribution of product over sum and caret over product, but what do we not have? Caret over, caret over sum. We don't have that. So no, we cannot do this. So if you do a plus b squared, and then if we change it to where the punctuation is visible, this would be a plus b in parentheses caret 2 there is no distribution of caret over sum. There isn't one. So I'm going to I'm going to write I'm going to underscore no about 5 times. I'm going to underscore this exclamation five times. Okay, so uh, it just doesn't work that way. But if it did, that's what it would look like, right? <laughs> if it did, but it doesn't. Okay, uh, fine. Which means that we have to do something else. And the second guess. So now, supposing I, 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 I uh, accept that some of you already have the formula memorized, but supposing that that's illicit information and we have to demonstrate the formula, how do we demonstrate it? With FOIL somehow, right? Uh, because, after all, a plus b squared means, well, we're squaring something. 
So it means make a copy of that thing and multiply it by itself. That's what it means. So that means a plus b multiplied by a plus b. And that's a binomial, and that's a binomial, and that's the product of binomials, and, well, we could use FOIL. So, so using FOIL, what's the first term? A squared. What's the O term? A times B. What is the I term? B times A. What is the L term? Very good, B squared. Okay, uh, finally, to get the final result, I'd like for you to observe that A, B, and B, A are the same because product commutes. So here's A, B, and another A, B, so that's twice A, B. So the formula is A squared plus 2A, B plus B squared. Any formula about this one? Uh, any question about this formula? Yes? Um, is that the standard form for the answer to that, or would we have to move the B squared to the front and the front? Whatever you like. Yeah, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Her, her question for those of you, I, I think your, your question was that uh, could you put the B squared in front? Yeah. And that'd be, that'd be fine. The standard form was like in the increasing order degree. Right. That's Okay, so, there, so this expression is referred to as a polynomial in two variables, a and b. And uh, generally speaking, you could have a polynomial in 1,314 variables. That'd be fine. Uh, for polynomials in more than one variable, there is such a thing as standard order, but we're not going to talk about it. And as a result, I'm not going to grade as if it's a thing. Other questions? Okay, next formula. How about a minus b all of this squared? I'll write equal, and then I'll write a little blank for me to fill it in in a moment. So now that we, ah, but, but I want to back up just a little bit. Uh, I'd like to point out that, that each class, each lecture has 50 minutes, and we meet three times a week and we meet on the order of 44 times. Okay, so I know how many minutes we have. And I'd like to point out that on this, this right here, I just spent like four minutes <coughs> talking about it. That's like 10% of today's class. And I, I, didn't, I didn't do it on a whim. And I, I didn't do it, um, I, I'll, I'll say it like this, I did it with, with forethinking. <laughs> This is something that I think you need to hear many times through the semester. Okay, otherwise, you're in danger of making errors. Okay, fine. So now that we've done this careful work here, you can probably tell me exactly what you need to do for this. What do you need to do for this? Foil, Foil right? And, and, and basically exactly the same way. So A minus B and then multiplied by another A minus B. So what's the F term? A squared, the O term, minus AB, the I term, minus BA, and the L term. Wait, I see minuses though. Ah, but they cancel, right? Okay, good. So plus B squared. So again, AB and BA are the same, and they're being they're both being subtracted. So as a result. The formula is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Any question about that formula? Okay, last formula for this page. Uh, well, the first formula was we took a plus b and then we took a plus b again. So it's like we took it twice a plus b and a plus b. Whereas the second formula was we took a minus b twice. We took it once and then again. So the third formula is now we're going to take one of these and one of those. That's the third formula. Is we're going to do a plus b and then multiply this by a minus b. 
I'll write equal and a blank. And yes, we will need to do FOIL again. So A plus B multiply A minus B. What is the F term? A squared. The O term? Minus A, B. The I term? Plus B, A. And the uh, L term? Minus B squared. Okay. For a third time, A, B, and B, A are the same thing, but what is different this time? Now they're going to cancel, right? Now they're gone. As a result, what's the formula? Very good. So A squared minus B squared. So there's three formulas on this page. And from now on, it's expected that you have these committed to memory. question about those formulas okay one last bit of language concerning the third formula uh, and the language remark is that uh, the expressions a plus B and a minus B are said to be conjugate to each other. <clears throat> so just to give an inline example, so for example, Gesundheit 13 plus square root 14 What's the conjugate of 13 plus square root 14? 13 minus square root 14. <clears throat> so they're said to be conjugate to each other. Uh, the wor in a non-math context, conjugate, objects are said to be conjugate uh, when they fit together. Like they're, like they're designed to fit together. Uh, a typical example would be like a lock and a key. A lock and a key, those, those objects uh, are said to be conjugate to each other. Uh, there's a good reason to use the word conjugate in, this, in the math context, but it's not really clear. I, so I'll just say we'll talk about that maybe if, if we meander to that point in the semester. But at any, at any rate, conjugate means fitting together. Uh, as a result of this, <coughs> formula 3 is called the product of conjugates formula. product of conjugates. And because the right-hand side of the formula is a square, a squared, and minus another square, b squared, uh, the way that the, it's usually re rendered in English is that product of conjugates is the difference of squares. Any question about this page? Is this okay? Okay, let's use the formulas a little bit. <clears throat> so, for example, 
x plus 5, and we're going to square it. Okay, so since this is the first time uh, we're using this formula, I'll do it the long way. Uh, well, that's the first formula from the previous page. So that would be the first thing squared plus 2 multiplied by the first thing multiplied by the second thing plus the second thing squared. That's just straight substituting into the formula on the previous page. Okay, but then, you know, the instructions are going to say simplify or whatever. Uh, so x squared is simple enough. What about the middle term? 10x and the last 25. Any question about the first example? Okay, next. Uh, so let's see if we can do it without uh, do, do a little bit in our head. So how about w plus 3 all squared? So can you do it? Can you jump to the end? Is it comfortable enough? W squared plus 6w. 6w, right, because, well, on the one hand, you could just memorize that that 2 is there in the formula. And on the other hand, you're going to get 3w once and then again. So you're going to get it twice. So you're going to have six W's. And then plus how much? Nine. Any question about this one? Yes? I can't do that in my head. By all I means, do this. this. Okay, because I don't trust myself enough <clears throat> to get it right to it in my head. Now nah, you don't even need to use this formula at all. Just do FOIL. Yeah, Just do it that way. It'll be just fine as far as I'm concerned. Uh, fine. So, uh, how about, how about 5x plus 2 all squared? So now what's playing the role of A? 5x, right? <clears throat> okay. So, again, I'll use the formula on the previous page. What's going to be, what do I need to write here? So I'm going to write something, and I want you to tell me if I have it. So 5x squared, like that. Right? Yep. You're supposed to square the first thing. Right? <laughs> right. Because presently, the order of operations is saying that only x is being squared. Because caret comes before product. So presently, the way it's written, only, only x is being squared. Really, it's the whole shebang, the whole thing that's got to be squared. Right? OK, next term would be what? 20x's. 20 20x's. 20 right? Because we're going to get 10x's once, and then again. So there's going to be 20 of them. So 20x's. And then plus what? 4. And then to simplify that little bit I left, 25 times x squared plus 20 times x Plus four. Any question about this one? <clears throat> okay. How about um, 13z uh, plus 14w <laughs> squared?
Okay. So, I want to make a comment about this. And that is that, uh, well, uh, it's, a, it's a comment about economics. Okay. Uh, pen strokes, that is the little marks that we write on our pages. Those are pretty cheap, aren't they? Like, I can make one right here. Like, rah, pretty cheap. Uh, square inches on the page, those are pretty cheap, right? Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got this page, I've got a whole other page right here. Uh, points in Math 13, 14 are not cheap. They're not. Uh, because uh, the total number of points that are in contest between each of you and me, if you look at it that way, there's like, I don't know, I haven't calculated, but there's like maybe 2,000 points available. Like if you added them all up, all the stuff we're going to do. Uh, and, believe it or not, between the amount of money that you pay and the amount of money that the taxpayers of the state of Texas pay, that's about a dollar a point. At least 50 cents a point. Not cheap. Okay, for that reason. What I'm telling you is that it's economically in your interest to show your work if you hesitate in your head, even just slightly. It's not worth trying to do it in your head. So I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to write it down. I'm going to say, well, it's got to be whatever it is, 13z squared plus twice the first thing times the second thing plus the second thing squared. So now we can just use our calculator or whatever. Uh, well, this one would be 169 z's, uh, z squareds, I mean. And then plus, well, 13 times 14, I have no idea. Has someone done it? And then tw times two. 182 and then multiplied by two. Have, has anyone done it? Someone did it? 364? Okay, I'll trust you. 364 and then what? Not W squared. ZW. Uh, and then plus how much? 196 w squared. Any question about this one? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> mm, fine. So, what time is it? Yeah. So, any questions about this page? I want to go to the next page. Yes? Like this? I guess you're asking, should I commute these two? It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, if, if, you, if you really want to, it's the same question as her question, actually. Uh, if you really want to know, I'll be glad to explain to you the rule. If, you just, if you're a rule person, I'll explain the rule to you after, after the class. But they're in the right order currently. Well, I, okay, actually, strictly speaking, they're in the wrong order. This one should be first. That one should be in the middle, and that one should be last. But, but who cares? We're not talking about that. OK. Uh, so I'd like for you to consider the following expression. a plus b cubed, not squared, cubed. And my question to you is, is that do we have a nice formula for it currently? Not currently. Not currently, right? Because I could ask, can we do a distribution? No, right? Because, because this would be a plus b caret 3. <coughs> and caret does not distribute over sum. So no, we can't do a distribution. Uh, can we do FOIL? Well, it, at least not directly, 
not directly because foil needs needs it to be of the form like a plus b squared we would need that uh, we need the exponent to be 2 so therefore no at least not directly we can't use foil so what I want to point out is that this is something new this is something that we're doing for the first for the first time now in in this course so we'll do it uh, the long ish way because that's the only way we have to proceed currently I'll say that well a plus b cubed because we're cubing it that means that we should make three copies of it and multiply them all together but I'm gonna be slightly clever and say that uh, I'll interpret it in this way I'll say that it's a plus b squared there's the first two copies and then multiplied by a plus b there's the third copy what what's virtuous about doing it this way ah we got a formula for that one right a formula for that one uh, so for this first thing becomes what yes a squared plus very good to a b plus b squared and then we still have this multiply by a plus b here Now what? Now we do a distribution. Do you want to distribute the trinomial through the binomial or the binomial through the trinomial? It doesn't matter. OK. You get an A plus B. You get an A plus B. You get an A plus B. All of you get A plus Bs. OK, doing that a squared multiplied by a plus b is the first and then plus 2ab multiplied by a plus b and then plus b squared multiplied by a plus b I wrote a little bit of space so that it would line up later Okay, now what do we need to do? Can't yet. Distribute, right? You get an A squared. You get an A squared. That's my reminder for the quiz. Uh, you get a 2AB. You get a 2AB. You get a B squared. You get a B squared. Okay, so um, distributing this, we get a cubed plus a squared b. Next, we get, what do we get for this one? 2a squared b. Very good, 2a squared b. And then, very good, 2a b squared and then from this one what do we get very good a times b squared and then b cubed so now we need to collect but now we need to know what it means for terms to be alike when there's more than one variable so terms are alike when all variables have the same exponent. So now, cons concerning all those terms, which of them is like this one? Just that one, right? Because this is the only one that has a cubed. So that'd be a cubed. Okay, concerning this one, it's a squared b. Which other one is like it? That one. That one and that one are alike. Are there any others like it? 
like them? No. So how much a squared b? Three. Three of them. Plus three times a squared times b. Plus, so we've accounted for the first three terms. Uh, now a b squared. Are there any others like that one? Yeah. The one next to it. So these are alike. So how much of them do we have? Three, Three of them. And then finally, which ones are like that one? It's unique. So what I'm telling you is that here is a new formula. And you don't need to memorize it, at least not today, because by the end of Friday, we will have a formula that lets you do that, that a method that lets you generate this formula as well as a formula for a plus b to exponent 4 or a plus b to exponent 5, etc. on Friday. So please put away your things. It's time for a quiz.